Ida for kicking my son out of my house after he cancelled my job interview. Please hear me out first. I'm a single mom, 45, of a 20-year-old son, Chris. Chris is in college. He studies engineering. Being a single mom at a young age was not easy for me. Despite everything I've been through, despite my own family giving up on me, made sure my son got the life he deserves. He was slash is my everything. I worked several jobs that were different from each other's. I was able to own a home after years of renting. And more importantly I was able to provide Chris with an opportunity for education. Recently, Chris moved back in with me because he no longer could pay rent. His next Next semester is starting soon, and he's been talking to me about the possibility of selling my house and buying a house in the city where he studies so he will no longer pay rent and said that it was better to move. I declined for several reasons, one grew up here, my old friends live here, two the city is expensive, three this home means a lot it represents my hard work and sacrifices. Chris didn't like that, he threw a fit and kept brining it up trying to convince me to do it, last week he kept pressuring me. I told him that I found a potential job at a company and it was an opportunity because I've been looking for three months. He took as in I don't want to move because of my new job, but it's not true. Yesterday, I found out that he contacted the company and cancelled my interview and then deleted my email. I use a computer and it's in the office so he gets access to it. He told me he wanted to check his college website for some reason and I thought nothing of it. That was the night before. I found out yesterday morning that someone cancelled my interview. I confronted Chris about it. First he denied then he said that the company wasn't what I deserved anyway and I can find a better position when we move to the city. I was so mad at him for ruining this for me and pressuring me to move leaving me no choice. I felt as if he was trying to sell the house from under me after he said he found a potential buyer and just wanted to make things go smoothly and all I have to say is yes. I yelled at him and argued with him telling him that he was an adult and should manage his his own issues. Told him to get a job but not expect me to turn my life upside down for him. He yelled back saying I was selfish and I ended up kicking him out of the house. His aunt knew and was yelling at me for what I did saying I was treating him poorly and he was hurt by me. Just to clarify his aunt is my sister. She doesn't have children of her own and Chris considers her as a second mother to him. She's always defending him no matter the reason. He hasn't left town yet and she wants me to call him. In need to mention that this is not how he is normally I have no idea what's going on but he was constantly talking about it and was insisting so much it got me upset and worried honestly. NTA and honestly that's controlling and abusive behavior on your son's part. He is crossing boundaries and trying to make decisions for you, a grown woman. His mother he is a grown man that can move to the city when he is able to afford it and shouldn't be banking on you giving everything up so he can get what he wants. Deleted. NTA. Your son is a user. He wants to use mommy's money to buy himself a house in an area he wants to live in without having to lift a damn finger, pay any money out of his own pocket, or do any of the work. This move benefits him only. In his fantasy land, he doesn't have to pay rent, he doesn't have to work, he doesn't have to commute. He can just depend on mommy to pay all his bills, buy him his dream home, and go to college with no worries. He destroyed your job prospects and you may not be able to get an interview again because this type of interference looks really bad and will be difficult to explain to an employer. Your son is delusional if he thinks he has any entitlement to use your money in the sale of your house for his own personal gain. He deserved a reality check and to be removed from the home. NTA. Fanti thinks you're being cruel she can take him in and see what happens. I don't have a good relationship with her. And so she find this as a chance to berate me and be protective of him. I'm not sure what he told her but he shouldn't have done that. NTA. If you ever accept in your home again, charge him rent. He's being extremely ungrateful and entitled. It is none of his aunt's business and your son needed the reality check. I never expected this from him. I don't know why he thought by doing this he'd be convincing me to move out and sell the house. Moving is not easy. And I believe that it's my decision in the end despite him being desperate. He shouldn't expect me to put everything on hold. Leave everything and move to the city. Ita for ruining my child's gender reveal. Myself, 27M, and my wife, 27F, 
are having a boy, we already have a girl who is now too. My wife is really into films, Oscar type films and she is like an analyzer when watching them so she wanted to make a gender reveal short film, 10 minutes long to say we're having a girl, kind of weird but I went along with it, we posted it and she was super happy with it but it cost so much. She hired expensive cameras, we drove out to scenic areas for the right shot, I'm working full time during this process, exhausting. So we just found out that we're having a boy and she started writing a script, I thought there's no fucking way I'm doing that again so I posted on Facebook we're having a boy, she's pissed at me telling me to delete it but the damage is done, I don't feel bad, I saved us at least 4000 pounds. But I don't get it why she's just making films about gender reveals, she can write a script about anything and not be on a strict backslash tilde 6 to 7 month time limit. Info, is there a reason you didn't, oh I don't know, have a conversation with your wife and just tell her you didn't want to do this again? ESH. Her for wanting to spend £4,000 on a gender reveal and you for spilling the news ahead of time. Harm communication would have been a much better route to take. ESH. $4,000 could have gone into a saving account for the kid's future. Instead she wants to make a video announcing what genitals the baby has. That's ridiculous, but communicating is kinda super important in relationships. Info, did you make any attempt to talk to her about your misgivings beforehand? Yes, she can't be TA if she did not know how op felt. Ita for blowing up at my boyfriend just because he was ignorant? His words. I'll try to keep this short. I, 19F, slept over at my boyfriend's, 23 meters, place, and I unexpectedly got my period during the night, irregular cycle. He freaked out. I was embarrassed, and offered to wash the sheets. He wasn't having any of it, and basically told me I must be irresponsible and disgusting, yelling the whole time. At that point I got annoyed too, and told him he was acting like a real asshole. I went to take a quick shower and was about to go home when he stopped me to continue the argument. I explained to him that I can't control when they happen, that they can be irregular as hell, and that they're not that gross, he was talking about throwing away the sheets. The stain wasn't even that big and I put them in the washer before I showered. He told me that he didn't know those things, and that I'm unreasonable for being mad at him for just a misunderstanding, and that he couldn't have known since they didn't teach him that in school. Obviously I'm not mad at him for not knowing, I'm mad at him for assuming he knew better and reacting by yelling at me. He's mad because I'm mad, and he thinks I can't be mad about ignorance, since it's not his fault. I apologized for calling him an asshole, but he doesn't want to apologize for yelling. Iter, I only want him to apologize for yelling. I'm ignorant so it's your fault I yelled at you. Is that someone you wanna spend your time with? NTA. Ignorance, ah, you got period blood on the sheets. Why didn't you put down protection, didn't you know it was about to happen? Does blood stain permanently? Assholery, you're disgusting and irresponsible. Let me yell at you aggressively and make sure you know just how lowly I think of you as a person. The first example is an ignorant person addressing the issue, making their assumptions known, and inviting new information to inform them. The second example is an ignorant asshole lashing out at a person, not the issue, and entrenched in their assumptions instead of inviting correction. NTA. You shouldn't have apologized for calling an asshole an asshole. That's actually a good explanation, thank you. NTA. 1. He shouted at you first. 2. He is 23 years old, using school as an excuse doesn't fly, he has had plenty of time to educate himself. 3. He treated it as if it was a serious biohazard that needed to be dealt with majorly. 4. He tried to turn it around and make you responsible for how he acted. NTA I think it's messed up that he specifically stopped you to continue the argument, does he do that a lot? It is really messed up to me too. Like, it was more important to him to keep fighting and make it escalate than to actually resolve the issue. It doesn't sound good. This whole thing sounds like a possible abusive relationship. Not wanting to apologize, villainizing her, refusing to admit his faults and dragging on arguments, blowing up at the smallest things. Bye red flags. 
be careful.